All right, guys, we are back with another video as promised. Your man, Bean Dip Bro, right here, and we're on Warframe again. Oh crap! Is that an Orkin reactor? Oh, I need that. I need that really bad. I need that right now. Yes, thank you. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. Anyway, I gotta do a mission real quick, but uh, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour. Tour, whatever you want to call it. No, oh, go back. I have 45 minutes. Okay, good. All right, so this is my ship, and this is my new Warframe that I got. Um, this, wait, no, was it? Yeah, last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. Her name is Titania, also known as Titania. And she's the queen of the fairies, and I know it's weird for a guy to have a girl, but. On Warframe, like, it doesn't really matter, bruh. All that matters is that you're strong. And Titania is one of a very select few that have offensive and defensive capabilities. Anyway, this is my ship, you know. Got it looking good up in here. But I gotta go do a mission real quick with my... Uh, whatever it's called, um, hold on a second. These are my gauntlets, and they're basically like brass knuckles, except like way better. Like they look way better, and they do way more damage than regular brass knuckles would do. Okay, good, so I got black and gold. Nice. I'm gonna make these gold. I don't know what to do with this. Make that red. Sonicore. So now I have four Warframes. Frost, who is my strongest. Neza, who is the fastest. Rhino, I don't really use him really. I don't really care for Rhino that much. But I, I would say he's a... Uh, I, I don't even know. His powers suck. He has good defense, but Neza has better defense to me. I, I don't know what to say about Rhino. And then there's Titania who can fly around and she's just an all around, all around good character. Right now I'm working on getting Chroma and Ash Prime. This is the regular Ash, but I'm gonna get like the better version of that. They're called Primes. For those of you who don't have the game. But Chroma, yeah. I can't wait to have Chroma. All I need is some Saren Prime systems, and I'll have Chroma. So that's gonna be good. After Chroma, I don't know. But and Ash. No idea. But anyway. Okay. Everything's good. Got all my mods. Alright, I'm good. Looks like I'm gonna be going solo for this one. So yeah, basically in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys some more gameplay and uh, show you, I'm gonna try to show you, like I'm gonna make this into like a, kinda like Titania tutorial video, sort of. So, for those of you who came here for the Titania tutorial, tutorial it starts now, so uh, first things first about Titania. She has all around good, like she has okay shields, she has okay amount of health, she has a good amount of power. Of course you have to uh, equip to flow, but she's like an all around good character. She has decent powers. The only bad thing I can say about Titania is her powers are kind of like all the same thing. They could have been a little bit more creative with her power, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, how I made Titania and my build, but I really need to get this mission done real quick. Orc and reactors are very important and they only come in alerts. That's my ship right there. It looks pretty good. Got the gold, white, and black on it, you know? 
Everything I own is matching colors. Mo well, mostly. So. The Grenier have been harvesting a nearby planetoid for weapons grade material. Locate and destroy their mining equipment. Disgusting monstrosities. I think they absorb their victims. Oh, you thought. All right, so Satania. Hi. Okay, so Satania, first things first. I'm gonna be showing you guys all of her abilities, Mission success hinges including on the, the Razor the Wing. Equipment. Expect heavy resistance. And all of her other abilities. So first things first, her first ability is called Spellbind. And it like makes everyone in the immediate area flow, it basically. And while they're in the air, you can like damage them. So that's pretty useful for dealing with large crowds. Oh crap, run, run. So yeah, that's her first ability. Ew. Oh, heck no. We finna fight today. Y'all ain't doing that today, buddy. Then her second ability is Tribute. Basically, you take the soul of your enemy and turn it into a bone. So you don't. Buff is like an enhancement, basically. It makes your something better, like, if that makes sense. So, Tribute just, just gives you a random buff based on the enemies. So one enemy isn't gonna give you the same buff as another. And uh, then there's her third ability, which is Lantern. This is probably the most effective ability to me because it makes all the enemies follow like this dude and then it like explodes so basically it like group it like groups all together and then just blows up in their face so that that's pretty useful for dealing with uh lower level enemies it's not really good for higher level though because it doesn't really kill them but it's still useful so then there's the fourth ability and everyone loves this one so, you know, I had to put it in here. I don't have a lot of energy though, so I'm not gonna be able to last very long. Oh, thank you, Cujo, your lifesaver. So it's a razor wing. Basically, you turn into a little fairy and you can fly around. Now, there's a lot of questions about this form, so I'm gonna answer some of them. First Heavy things first, the mods you put on your Target weapons, found. like your regular Destroy weapons, it. they do affect your fairy wing weapons. They do affect them. Because I experimented with it a little bit and I found out that it does affect them. So make sure that you mod your primary and your melee like as good as possible so that you'll get the best out of um, your razor wing. Where the heck am I going? Oh, I get it. Oh crap, help, help, oh no. I, I don't have any energy right now, so I can't turn into a fairy and fly away. But, yeah, so that's her uh, razor wing. Hopefully, I will be able to use it more if I get some more energy. So I can show you guys you more. Have to thwart potentially dangerous discoveries from being fully realized. For now. I have 25, but that's not a lot. Anyway, like I always say in my Warframe videos, if you're new to PS4 and you don't have any good games or you have a lot of games but you want a new one, I highly suggest getting Warframe. You you don't need PlayStation Plus to play with other people. It's just a really good game. I love it. Like. I play this game all the time with my friends, so highly suggest you get this game. And if you don't, well, it's your choice, you know. But 
It's a good game. So, oh crap. There's a lot of dudes. Oh, it's like a battle royale up in here. Mercilessly murdering. I gotta get out of here. So yeah, that's Titania for you, and uh, I'm gonna be making another video after this, so stick around for that. I got my Orkin reactor, so that's good. So this is it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna make another one, probably either tomorrow. Uh, maybe I'll make one after this, but, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really short, I know, and before I get off, I want to tell you a possible build. So, uh, anyway, as I was saying, a possible build for Titania and a good one that I chose. It works good for me. Mine is like a kind of all-around kind of build. So, as you can see here, I have my Aura Mod for Steel Charge, but... It depends on what kind of player you are and what kind of build you want. So the best build for melee players, I would say, is Steel Charge. Maybe, of course, you need your redirection and vitality. And if you have it, you need to put Vigor and fully upgrade it because Vigor is important. But if you're looking for a more of a melee approach, I suggest getting Steel Charge and getting some kind of mod that increases your speed because it, it's important for you to like be able to like run between enemies, cutting them up and beating them and stuff. But if you're looking for more of a build to increase her energy and increase her abilities, I suggest you get Flow. I have like a really rare Flow. Mine goes up to 150, but the regular one goes to like 72. But um, get Flow, get Streamline is very important. Um, intensify is optional. Intensify basically increases all your damage for like all of your abilities, so that's good. And also, I don't have it on right now, but I suggest you get either continuity, continuity or whatever that says, or constitution, because those increase the power duration. And when you use your like floating abilities, it basically makes the the people float longer. So yeah, those are both really good. And as you can see, I have a lot of mods for Warframe. Also, I suggest that you get Stretch. Stretch is really important because it makes her ability range much, much farther. So yeah, that's what I suggest for a energy build. And as far as weapons go, Mutilus Cernos, I have to say, it really impressed me. I, I love it, it's a great weapon. And I'm glad that I made it. The Mutilus Theranos, is, it's pretty good. And I enjoy it. So I suggest getting that. And also, uh, as far as melee goes, if you're like a melee player and you want Titania, I suggest getting an Orthos. Because it kind of goes along with her scheme. You know, she's like the queen of fairies and staffs. And the Orthos itself is a very elegant weapon. And it, it does pretty good damage. It's a good weapon. Uh, I highly suggest putting Fury on it because the attack speed is ridiculous. And I also suggest getting a stance mod for it. But other than that, Orthos is a good weapon for her. If you're not really into staffs though, uh, well, to be honest, the best sword in the game, the best one-handed sword, is the Broken War. And you get it from completing the second dream quest. So I suggest getting that if you're like a one-handed sword player. This, this Lacquera, it's, it's pretty good, but it takes a lot to make. And, I mean, you can make it if you want, but if you don't have the stance mod for it, I would not suggest making this weapon, because the base attacks suck. And uh, as far as secondaries go, I'm not really a secondary kind of person. I don't really take secondaries that seriously, because I'm like a meleeer. But I suggest getting a infected type. Like Pox, Pox is really good. I suggest getting that. So, um, that's the end of this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. I will be making more videos probably next weekend. And, uh, well, hope you guys enjoy. See you guys later.